Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday Friends. My name is Miss Jenny and today in God's Word we hear about a man who had a terrible skin disease that went to go see Jesus. He hoped that Jesus could heal him from his sickness. Let's listen to God's Word today. Let's start our time together with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we light our Christ candle today, we remember that at our baptism, we were given the light of Jesus so that we could be his light in the world. God of heaven and earth, you sent your son Jesus to lead us to you. Fill our hearts with light so that we may have faith and courage to follow Jesus in all that we do. Amen. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. If our sins are large or small, God will still forgive them all. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. Let's get our bodies ready to hear God's word. Let's get our bodies ready to hear God's word. Let's listen with our ears. We'll watch with our eyes. We'll keep our lips and hands quiet, and we'll listen with our hearts. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, Jesus, King of glory. As Jesus and his disciples were traveling from diff to different villages, they came upon a man who had a terrible skin disease. It was called leprosy. In Jesus' time, there was no medicine that would help this man get better. He would not be able to stay with his family because they might catch the disease too. The man ran up to Jesus and he got on his knees in front of him, begging and saying, Jesus, if you really wanted to, you could help me and make me better. Jesus looked at the man and he felt very sorry for him because he could tell he was so sick. Even though Jesus could catch the same disease, Jesus reached out and he touched the man and he said to the man, of course I want to help you. As soon as Jesus said these words, all the sores went away on this man. It was a miracle. Everything disappeared and he was completely better. Jesus then sent the man to show a leader of the church that he was better so that he could go back home. But Jesus said to him, don't tell anyone that I did this for you. The man was healed and he was so happy. And instead of doing what Jesus said, he went out and he told everyone. Jesus had to leave that place. Now it's time to say yes to God to show we believe in him. Do you believe in God who made you and me? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus whose mother is Mary? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus came to show us how to live and to love? Yes. Do you believe Jesus died for us on the cross to open heaven above? Yes. When we need help to follow him each and every day, God gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us on our way. Amen.
Now it's time for us to bring our prayers to God our Father. Let us pray for all those who help people who are poor, homeless, and feel unloved. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all countries in the world who are rich, that they will share with people in the world who haven't enough to help them live. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our parish, our families, and our friends, that we will always be good disciples who follow Jesus and love others. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who help people who are sick in hospitals and in nursing homes. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who have died, that they are enjoying the kingdom of heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask God for our special needs. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us praise God today by saying the glory be. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now let us say together our closing prayer. Dear God of light, shine in our hearts so that we can bring joy and hope into the world. Like your first disciples, show us how to follow you and listen to your word so that we know how to reach out to all. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hand. He's got you and me, brother, in his hand. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody. In his hands, he's got everybody. In his hands, he's got everybody. In his hands, he's got the whole world in 